Greetings and salutations, I am the Raven, and uh, this is Unabound from Wichita Games, also for the makers of uh, the Blackwell series. So if you know that, it's you have an idea what to expect from this. Just a bit more, more this time. But Raven, you have not played the Blackwell series. Not yet anyway, we'll see about that. This, however, is a bit of a warning for this game. Most likely with the Blackwell series, it covers a few uncomfortable topics. This one, as I said, goes a bit further than that. Covering uh, numerous acts of violence, gore, a crystal grey area of consent, death and all that fun stuff. Now that's the one out of the way with, we shall begin. May you be snatched away from this place. You shall no more dare to deceive, persecute, and torment. As smoke is driven away, as wax melts before the fire, so shall you be driven away, unclean spirit. So, uh, I'm going to go a rooftop. Be rained on, and this guy is Yelnatus. Yeah, that sounds about by Friday night. Silence! Now, answer true. Are you demon, man, or woman? Well, that's a bit of a question, is, is it? Who are you? Professor Oak? Demon! Your power over his mind is waning. Release him now! Release him before I am forced to destroy you! Remember! You are human, remember! Tell us, before the demon regains control, your name, tell us your name! Well, I don't have much choice considering you're sucking me with lightning. I could go for my name, but uh, I don't want to. Did you hear that, evil spirit? He knows himself. He is yours no longer. Now, your past. Tell me something about your past. Your profession! Quick! This lightless set... It's set up this character's background. Yes! He's beginning to remember. Sworn to protect the innocent from those who would do them harm. Inside you is a spirit who will destroy many unless you stop it. Do your duty one last time. Fight it! Remember who you are! One last time sounds rather... Serious, doesn't it? Alright, this is the place. Just one thing before we get going. I want you to take point. You think you're ready? Honestly, I'm not. I know this looks routine, just a bunch of goth kids getting high and causing trouble, but something doesn't smell right. And by that, I mean the uniform who called it in. According to dispatch, it was Franco Moreno. Well, when you meet him, you find out why. It's a bit suspect. I know. I'm as surprised as you are. Just do your job. Get statements, talk to Moreno about what happened. After that, we'll see if there's anything worth talking about. Well, after you, partner. You know, this really feels like you the scene at a Vampire the Masquerade. The club, the gargoyles, the style. Sorry, club's closed for now. You want in, you'll have to wait. Oh yeah? You got any proof of something? Gonna need that before I let you in. It's your show, partner. Do what you gotta do. Okay, okay. Uh, looks legit. About time you guys showed up. The natives here are getting a bit restless. You wanna talk to Mrs. Loris? She's inside. I didn't see much. I was out here checking for fake IDs when that cop ran inside and saved the day. By the time I knew what was happening, it was over. 
I know that name, I know that voice. Just go and place it. Yeah, as in he saved lives and stopped the bad guys. It was like Bruce Lee or something. Anyway, you can go in. Bruce Lee, huh? Whatever. Just do what you gotta do so we can reopen. Give that cop in there a raise, will you? He was a damn hero. This is internal version, then? Been standing here for an hour. You gonna fix this or what? Who oh, wastes an hour? Must be very good clock. Come on, let us in. And now, the one I really want to talk to for this opening. This new Epifish track is tight. Hello, Pussy Up Roses. Not for nothing, but this really sucks. Are you two the police detectives? That's us. Good. I'm Alana Lors. I own this place. Officer Marino's in the back room, along with the three idiots who started this mess. Hopefully you'll be able to hear, able to hear this over this music. Wait, you don't know? Why aren't you... what do you call it? Briefed? Well, whatever. I don't mind telling the story again. Anyway, here's what happened. These three kids pulled out knives. These long silver switchblade things. I swear to God, I thought it was going to be a bloodbath. But then... Then that Officer Marino strung in. I swear, it was like something out of a Bruce Lee movie. Bruce Lee, huh? The guy outside said the same thing. Well, it's true. He fought them all. All three of them. Disarmed them and put them all in cups. Then he dragged them all to the back room. Curious to the phrase there. Again. We don't frisk here, Detective. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Those kids, they're regulars here. They come here and get wild, but they're good kids. They always are. I can't imagine why they do something like this. Anyway, they're in the VIP room back there. I guess you need a statement from all of them. I'll be here if you need me. After you, partner. Let's see if you learned anything. It's time to be a cop. Hey, you get to fly solo? I want to talk to the owner for a bit longer. Thanks. When this is done, first round's on me. Hey! Like, I know I'm being a bit... Unorthodox. But trust me, okay? You're doing great. Sir? Well, oh, this must be Funko. I'm fine, Detective. Never better. I guess you want to know what happened? I was doing my rounds, I was just passing by, and I heard screams from inside. I ran in, I found these three armed with knives and prepared to attack innocent civilians. So I disarmed them and cuffed them. Sounds rather convenient, don't you think? Yeah, I got in just in the nick of time. Ask around, get everyone's statements, they'll back me up. The suspects are ready for their statements, sir. Okay, let's get some statements, shall we? Let's find out what's happened. I don't know what came over me. I don't do stuff like this. But that cop stopped us. It was, it was like a Bruce Lee movie. Again, like a Bruce, Bruce Lee movie. It was like something out of a Bruce Lee movie. Wait, who's Bruce Lee? Oh, this is theme of questions. We couldn't fight him. He was like Bruce Lee or something. Hey, was I interrupting anything? Yeah, the suspects. So, Marino, you got a pretty good caller here. Three of them, in fact. Thank you, ma'am. I'm just curious about one thing. These three are all restrained. Police issue cuffs, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, funny thing. The standard officer's kit only has two pairs of handcuffs. So, I just gotta know, where'd the third pair come from? You so curious, sir. See that, Franco? You got us both so puzzled. You got an answer for us? Yeah, I, uh, took an extra. I was lucky. You didn't need three cuffs when you took down that mugger yesterday. Just the one. Or what about those two deli robbers the day before that? You only needed two cuffs then. But today, you take down three bad guys, and you just happen to have three pairs of cuffs. Well, he's doing well for himself, it's me. Nothing, I'm just doing my job. Your job? Right. All the suspects in all those crimes. They all had perfect records before you arrested them. And speaking of records, 
What about yours? You've had an unremarkable career up until this week. Care to explain this sudden shift in direction? I've... I've been reading. Reading? What, like, self-help or something? Or something. I did a great job here, Detective Santina. It was like something out of a Bruce Lee movie. You should recommend me for a promotion. Yeah, yeah, good job, Marino. Never knew you were such a badass. I'll... I'll just go call this in. But it being the word here. What does it look like? For ten years I've been the bottom of the totem pole, the butt of everyone's jokes. I tried to get ahead, really, I tried. But nobody ever gave me a damn chance. She'll be fine. She'll think I'm a hero, just like you will. Yeah, it's not like anyone else is going to be bringing up, bringing up questions about the uh, common use terms here. Fuck. Okay, okay. Look, I'll kick it over to you. Just put the gun down. Take it. Just take it. I don't even know what I'm doing with that thing. Look, I, I had no choice, you understand? I've been stuck in this uniform for ten years. Ten years! I can't take it anymore! Then I found that book. Well, what would you do? Fuck! Dude, what the hell? Oh, this is your stream. Damn it, do something! She's totally dazed. She's not saying a word. What the hell is going on? What about the kids? Are the kids okay? That's a no. Your chosen vessel remembers. You are no longer welcome, wicked spirit. The hands you control will no longer do your bidding. In the name of myself, my witness, and the soul whom you hold captive, I cast you out! And, uh, there they go. Gotcha. I'm going it. Eli! Ouch. So, uh, that's happened. We just been exercised of a demon. We've uh, committed murders. Attacked our partner. Stand back! Jeez, Mandy, put that sword away. The spirit is gone. That guy's harmless. See? He doesn't even remember how he got here. It looks like his memory got scrambled during the exorcism. Scrambled? What? It happens. I apologize for the threat. It has been a long night. Please, come with us, and we will explain everything. It'd be nice to know what's going on. Because I am cold, soaking wet, and I have been outdoors all night. However, if you want to stay up here, you are welcome to. You know that sounds Look, a pretty good idea. Look, Jesus, we've had a rough night. Go easy on us, okay? Just come on downstairs. When you're ready, we'll explain everything. We're the good guys. Honest. You know, normally when someone says that, you should be rather suspect of it, so... Well, this is not your typical point and click affair. As you notice, we don't have the click of things to get uh, descriptions right there at the bottom of the screen. Yes, the ones about gore is for this. Do take your time. Soak it all in. It's, uh, rather not. So, how is that memory of yours? Anything spring to mind? A small mercy, perhaps. For you, at least. These innocents, innocents of this city who I have sworn to protect, were destroyed by your hands. Well, that's not good. 
I think you'll find your definition of impossible is about to change. You were possessed by some kind of demon. It made you do things. You do not remember? One year ago, you slaughtered those police officers and those teenagers. Your body did, if that's what you mean. That club's been a condemned site ever since. The story was top news for weeks. Every district in the city was searching for you. As were we. And it is fortunate that we found you first. These people on the floor, torn apart using your bare hands. The rain washed away most of the blood from your hands, but it will always be there, whether you can see it or not. Well, this is heavy. No, you can't do that. He is correct. Punishing yourself is not the answer, and would expose us. If you want to see justice done, help make it right. Listen to me. These feelings you've got right now, the guilt, the anger, hold on to that. It means you're human. You'll need that going forward. Speaking of going... Yeah, we need to scoot. Did you put up a veil, Mandana? I did. And it will confuse the police long enough for us to get away, but we should not tarry. This has some nice artwork to the game, but at the same time it's <laughs> thankfully not too detailed. Still, I might as uncomfortable for some. Fresh air at last. A padlock. Of course. Can you pry it off? I am tired, Eli. My strength ebbed hours ago. Perhaps he can help us. Could you find something to pry this off? Yeah, anything big or heavy should do. Time to be a main character. And we're gonna solve our little problems. Hello! You've gotta be kidding me. This place, much has changed. Creature, who are you and what is your purpose here? Purpose? You invited me. You're mistaken. I was summoned across the void by you. I say again, you are mistaken. You know I speak the truth. I know what you are, Jin Child. I know you cannot speak false. Nevertheless, a beacon appeared. A path was formed. I merely followed it. Nobody here has done such a thing. Um, that might not be entirely true. Eli? On the roof, I used a lot of power. Probably enough to call the attention of, well, something like this. Whoops. Neophyte mage. Playing with forces you don't understand. I'm mage enough to burn you into a greasy smudge. You lie. I know a falsehood when I hear one. Okay. I can smell your power, mageling. You have not left. You are nearly spent. And you, Jin Child, are so fatigued you can barely stand. That may be true, but stand we shall. Since we're being so honest with each other, you don't look too healthy yourself. The journey here was long and difficult. I used much of my energy getting here. Oh, trying to solve this problem. So you're just as tired as we are. That's called a stalemate, friend. I do not wish to fight. I have no quarrel with either of you. I am merely hungry. Feed me, and I will return home. That is all? Ah! I probably should have that one a little longer, but, uh, yeah. That was creatively done. Um, yeah. Nice work. We cannot say for sure. This creature is from across the void. There are so many that they defy categorization. It's a ligamental. A what? It's made up of ligaments and sinew. It fits. 
Very You're making well. it worse now. This creature is a ligamental. Oh. Let me be nice to name either. Such agony. What manner of pain is this? It hurts unlike anything I've ever experienced. Please, I got hit by lightning 20 minutes ago. Don't be such a baby. I... That stench. It can't be. You, a demon spawn on this plane? I can sense the corruption within you. Why do you come here to torment me? There is no demon. I got rid of it. You are a fool. The corruption lingers. That ain't good. Creature, you are at our mercy. Return home through the void at once. You know I cannot. I used all my energy to get here. I will not survive the return journey without food. I must feed on human flesh. In this world, nothing else will sustain me. Only on this plane of existence. I do not believe it has a choice. No! no. We stand against chaos. We do not inflict it. Well, time for the... pressure option. What? That's... Ugh. Does the demon spawn speak true? There is meat inside this building? Yes. Yes, there is. Slaughtered only hours ago. Fresh meat. That is perfect. Let me consume my fill, and I will leave you in peace. I... I do not think I can do that. It would draw too much attention. The police are bound to notice. Not to mention the victims inside are innocent. They have families. Loved ones. They'll want closure. I am innocent too, Mageling. You summoned me. I merely answered. Would you kill me just for that? It speaks true, Eli. What is your decision? Wait, you're putting this on me? Yes. I... I'm not the one that has to cut that thing's throat. I can't decide that for you. Well, we're it a was bit your magic concrete. that brought it here. The choice is yours. You're the one with the sword. You are the one who summoned it. Let's go for... You've got seniority. He made it follow the beacon then that I Eli delegate this sorted, to you. started. Oh, now Didn't you suddenly trust my judgment. So, uh... I always do. Let's see about... You wouldn't let me make toast! See, yes, see about... it is the most... Practical Give it this thing, game possibly. Ugh, I'm gonna be sick. Rise, creature. Eat your fill and be gone. In a way, though, hopefully, you look around for the better. Are you finished? Please, please, please be finished. Yes, I believe I can make the return journey and survive. Thanks be to you, Jin Child, Mage, Demon Spawn. I was exercised. I shan't trouble you again. It is done. It is over. Thank God. Let's get out of here. All in all, this was eventful. Yeah, eventful. We did fine work this night. We all did. Agreed. You showed immense fortitude, especially for one in your situation. We should exercise money for murder. You want to tell him, or should I? One year has passed since your possession. You were wanted by the police for many violent crimes. Yeah, I'm sorry, but your days as a cop are over. Indeed. Although you can serve in another way. The demon that infested you? That creature we just defeated? Mere taste of what is out there. And they just keep coming. We need manpower. Look, you saw us in action tonight. It's obvious we need all the help we could get. Just as it is obvious your old life is gone. But we can help. We can give you a new identity, a new life, a new purpose. Normally, there's a vetting process, but you more than proved yourself tonight. So, what say you? Will you join us? 
You know, North is considered. I don't think I have uh, any other choice. Plus, we don't got even the game otherwise. Thank God, some new blood at last. Uh, sorry, that sounded much less creepy in my head. <laughs> we are all tired. We can find suitable sleeping arrangements back at our headquarters. Sleeping sounds great. By the way, my name's Eli. This is Mandana. Welcome to the Unavowed, my friend. Trust me, your life will never be the same. And here we are to the Unavowed headquarters. Are there? Pretty much ran out of time for it to be more, so uh should see this picture. Hmm. Hey, it's Vicky. Is this how to get this? Where did this come from? But uh yeah. It's had to bring this part to an end. Until next time, be good, be well. And uh don't summon anything you don't want to summon. The price might be a bit too high. Bye.